Shraddha Walker was murdered on 18th May by her living partner, Aftab Poonawala. The spine-chilling murder of Mehroli in the national capital sent shockwave across the country. Now, today, the case has reached a crucial stage where the court has now framed charges of murder and disappearance of evidence under Section 302 and 201 of the Indian Penal Code against Aftab Poonawala. Poonawala, who was present before the court today, accepted those charges and pleaded not guilty and claimed trial in the case. Now, this whole story begins on, uh, in fact, years ago from here, when Shraddha and Afta Poonawala went into a live-in relationship. They stayed in Mumbai for a few, few days. And then, since the parents of the girl were refused of this particular relationship, they moved to the national capital. The contact of the girl got cut and she got cut away from her family. Now, what happened thereafter was that she was killed on 18th of May. However, until the 18th of October, when the complaint was filed by the father of Shraddha Walker and it was known that she was killed, it was known that her body was cut into 35 pieces by her living partner, the Delhi police placing on recorded submissions on the framing of charges said that Aftab Poonawala was a trained chef and was very equivalent and equipped to use equipments like knives and butcher knives to actually cut down the body into 35 pieces. Since he was a trained chef, he was also aware of how to preserve body parts and how they could be disposed of for a longer time. Now, after Punawala bought a fridge, put, cut the body into 35 pieces and had placed those body parts into a fridge. Interestingly, when he did so, he also had other dates that he had lined up and while the body parts were actually in the fridge and in uh, and very smartly when the, the date actually had to happen, he shifted those parts to the kitchen store. And when the date got completed, he again shifted those parts back to the fridge and then again completely started to dispose of these parts in the jungles of Mehroli of the South District of the National Capital. Now months, almost a year in fact after that particular murder had taken place. The court today framed charges under Section 302 and 201 of the Indian Penal Code and uh, charged after Punawala of murder and disappearance of evidence. Now, the case would be heard next on June 1 when the trial in this case would begin and the prosecution would be placing on record its three main witnesses including the brother and the father of the deceased girl. The live-in relationship which resulted into a murder sent shockwave to the national capital and across the country since it was such a brutal case that the body parts were cut into 35 pieces and thrown away into the winds uh, before uh, the Meroli jungles. Now, the Delhi police had filed a 6,629 pages of charge sheet against Aftab Poonawala, detailing down his locations, detailing down his Google pin locations and also how the whole trajectory of the murder took place and whether it was a fit of rage or was a pre-planned murder. The Delhi police claimed that it was a pre-planned murder and Aftab Poonawala cut the body parts in order to screen away from any kind of a punishment. Today, when the charges were being read to Mr. Aftab Poonawala, he, through his advocate, claimed for a plea not guilty and also claimed a trial in the matter. So now, on June 1, when the court actually reassembles, it will be hearing first the prosecution's side and then the defense's side and then would be pronouncing a conviction or acquittal of Aftab Poonawala. Though this case had shook the country into, uh, into shock waves, now the case is reaching a logical conclusion. Now today, the first step is complete. Framing of charges has happened and now the trial in this case would now begin. I am Anand Bhatnagar with video journalist Rajesh Bhardwaj for CNN News 18 and News18.com from the national capital.